welcome back to Black Acre Ranch, everybody. My name's Jeff. Um, for those of you new to the channel, we've got 187 acres here in East Texas. And we're doing a buffalo ranch. And we're gonna have a mixture of other little animals and so forth, and that's what we've got going on. We've got buffalo and we've got pigs so far. In the future, distant future, um, we hope to have some highland coos. So that's kind of a year, two, three, four, I don't know. We'll see how things go. Anyway, we're glad you could join us. Um, I'm actually standing right in front of Pasture 7, and this is the opening here at the top, and we've been doing the fencing all that way, down, and this last section across the bottom. We got it all done. So all the fencing is done here. Next, all we have to do is just put up some gates. And that's where these bad boys come in. And then we need some 10-footers. Let me show you that. To span this gap right here, this is a 20-foot section of fence, uh, opening. Um, we didn't want it that big, but at the time when we were using our tools to do all of our digging, uh, this is like lignite that I'm standing on, and uh, it was tough to do. So anyway, we ended up having to move it out further to give us a better chance of getting through it. So anyway, so it's a 20-foot opening. I wanted to take this chance right now, if I could just share a little bit about the costs of fencing, okay? So bear with me. We have two examples, okay? We did pasture six and seven. And, and if you see this numbering, it's because we will have eventually seven pastures for the buffalo to rotate through. The ones we started on were the ones that were most quickly accessible and easy enough to get to all facets of it to be able to get it done, okay? We started this process with some mulchers that came out with their big machine and they started mulching the fence line. And they went all the way around the bottom section of our pastures, um, of our property. And so at the very southern side, we have pastures six and seven, okay? We spent a lot of time putting a lot of posts in and we started with pasture six first and we eventually hired that out. Pasture seven, we have not hired out and we've done it all ourselves. And so what I want to kind of share with you is just kind of what's the cost difference. Why we ended up doing with seven, maybe these figures and this stuff can help give you some, I guess, understanding as to why we did what we did. But let's kind of go through some of that and figure out what was the difference? Timeline, cost, um, ease or not easy, was it worth it? That kind of stuff as you plan and do your fence. All right, stick with us. All right, everybody, this is pasture six. This is the one that we started with first. This is the one we have our buffalo in right now. And they're chilling. When we first started last year, June, we were trying to get the buffalo over here really quick. And it was getting hot. We had been putting all these wood posts up. Um, we hadn't done the T posts yet, but we got all the wood posts, got down the hill to the southern section, and we're just having a hard time with it. At the time, I was just using this one-man auger to drill these things. So in an effort to speed things up, we got a person to come out to go do things, okay? Now they charge by the linear foot typically, okay? And, and the cost wasn't outrageous. I mean, it, it really wasn't. Um, with the idea being that he could probably get it done in two to three weeks. And he could finish the rest of the whole pasture, blending it with what we've already done. Everything would be set. We could get the buffalo from Steve over and everything would be fine and dandy, okay? Timeline, um, it ended up being, now this is about 3,500 feet of linear fence to go around. Um, timeline ended up being beginning of June, supposed to be two to three weeks. We finished it, I think, September. Um, so it took like three and a half months. And, you know, various different things come up and, you know, it wasn't a professional crew that had like 12 employees and big old trucks or anything like that. You know, as a guy local that does fencing and, and he was doing it. Anyway, three and a half months, okay? Now, what was the cost? We probably spent about eight grand in labor just to get this part done. Um, and I'm, not, I'm ignoring the materials portion because materials, whether I do it myself or pay somebody, it's all the same. All right, guys, this is the top of Pasture 7 again. And Pasture 7, how does it compare? Pasture 7 is about 2,500 linear feet, so it's a little bit smaller. It's a wee bit smaller. It's about a third smaller. Um, so when you look at how much they charge, typically when somebody in this area is doing the fencing, they may charge like $1.20, $1.50, $1.75 per linear foot, that kind of a thing. 
So when looking at pasture seven, when we did it ourselves. Um, it's a little bit smaller because we have that shared line between the two that was incorporated into pasture six. But anyway, this one would have been about $4,000 to go ahead and do this one about the same rate as what we had on pasture six. Okay. Time frame: we started this beginning of March. We've tried not to bore you too much with all the fencing, but beginning of March, it's now beginning of end of March. Sorry. And it's now beginning of June. I think it was 11 weeks. So about three months. So about three months to do what we've done. Um, in general, is it quicker? No, doing it ourselves, it's not. We probably actually get about four hours of work time a day to actually do projects. So was this any quicker than having paying somebody else to do it? No, I think sometimes pasture six could have been done having somebody pay to work it. Um, just dumb luck, it never, it never worked out. They just never got it done. So I think generally if you pay to have somebody do it, it will get done faster than you would if you only had four hours a day, like we do, on a Saturday to work everything. So if you look at 11 to 12 weeks, four hours, that's like six days of full-time work. So this could have been done a lot faster, um, but we saved $4,000 doing it ourselves. And you know, a lot of people, you just have to realize when you have a ranch and you're doing this all from scratch and you have limited time, you either pay somebody to do it and fork out the cash or you do it yourself and you save the money, all right? Money doesn't grow on trees. So, you know, we have a lot of plans for everything here, but money doesn't grow on trees and you can only go as fast as you can physically do it yourself and have time and pay for things to do. So anyway, that's the breakdown. $4,000 would have been the cost. We saved that by doing it ourselves. It took about the same time. Um, it is a little bit smaller, about a third smaller than pasture six. So you guys make your decision. Do you guys do it yourself or do you pay somebody to do it? One last little point I wanted to mention. Um, and this is kind of, you know, we started out doing pasture six on our own. And I, I just want to explain that the right tools make all the difference, okay? We started out doing this with hand augers, motorized hand augers. Um, and it was just a beat down, man. It was just a beat down. We eventually spent the money on a Dan user's EP615 front mounted loader auger. And that has made it so much easier. It was a large outlay, but it made it so much easier. T post, we have a manual T post driver, bam, bam, bam. That sucks. Like, <laughs> it just sucks. So we spent 300 bucks and got a T post driver. A gas powered one. Oh man, that has been like a godsend, okay? Tools and having the right tools make all the difference. And you need to look to kind of see, well, what's your project size and does it make the, make the common sense approach to just buy it if you can and invest that or do you not? We made the decision to invest in getting this equipment so we could do the fence ourselves. We know it takes a long time and it sucks being out here. It's muggy. I feel like I got mosquitoes all over me but there's only so much money. To give you some perspective on money, I had somebody quote, just getting the perimeter of our place, which is probably about four miles um, of a perimeter. And when I quote, they came back with a quote of $130,000. And people you'll find on YouTube spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on fencing. Aluminum post, woven wire, they'll get everything done. The, the price came out to $10 a linear foot. Like, holy crap, who's paying $10 a linear foot? Get your butt out there and go do it. Well, do you have the time? Do you have the money? And is it worth it to you? You know, what kind of quality? So those are the three things you got to evaluate. I was not going to spend $120,000, $130,000 for them to come out and do my fencing. Screw that, man. So we're doing it. Yay, lucky us, right? And I'm trying not to bore you too much with fencing. So we're trying not to show you every detail of fencing because frankly, fencing is gonna go on forever. But pasture seven's done, we're moving on. Um, we just have gates to hang left and I think, oh, a couple little things. A septic we gotta fill, some crap that's in here and gotta cordon off some stuff, but it's almost done, man. Fence is done. So we're gonna take a break for a little while little while on fencing 
And uh, we have actually another project coming up here in a couple weeks maybe I'll start doing. And I think that's, that's gonna be exciting. So stay tuned for that, all right? Let's get this thing wrapped up. With you, I wanna stay with 